Hey guys, welcome to Techno Savior. In today's video, I'll tell you how can you quickly get started with regex. We'll discuss some basic topics like anchors, quantifiers, or operator, character class, and meta sequence. Then I will discuss some use cases, but not the email validation, as that's too common. Okay, after that, I will tell you how can you improve your regex skills. Okay, so let's get started. For this video, I'll be using this online regex editor site. The link will be there in the description box below. These are some strings that I have already added for the regex demo. So first we'll discuss about the anchors that is a cap and the dollar operator. So let's understand what does that mean. Let's try to match all the strings that contain the letters THE. Now the if you type it only matches the first one because we have to select the global. As you can see all the test string that has the matches it. Now what if we want to find out the string which starts with the then we can write cap then the letter the this will match all the test strings that starts with the but as you can see it only matches the first one so for that you have to select the multi-line option you can also see the description of this regex in the right hand side box it gives a proper explanation for the same now what if we want to match all the st test string that ends with the so we can write the and at the end we'll give the dollar symbol next we'll try to find out the test strings that starts with the and also ends over there so we can give cap the and then the dollar sign so this matches the test string next is the quantifiers it consists of star plus question mark and the curly braces so in our test string let's try to search for creator well this doesn't match anything as of now because the search is case sensitive to make it insensitive you can click here and then click on the insensitive now it matches all the word that has creator in it what if we want to match all the strings which has one or more r in the creator for that we can give a star after the creator so this starts matching all the test strings well this was pretty easy so what does star do is it matches zero or more so for plus it also matches one or more so the star can match the creator without an r but the plus cannot match so let's look at the next operator that is question mark so question mark signifies there should be at least one or none so if we give let's uh, let me write a new test string that doesn't have a r in it and will give a question mark instead of plus so as you can see it matches the word with the creator without the r in it and also the other words which has the r in it so next is the braces so braces signifies from where do you want to start until what you want to end basically how many times a character can be repeated in our case for example let's consider r i want it to repeat at least four times and it can match infinitely if i give a upper limit of four it matches the character which has at max four characters of r in it as you can see this is fairly easy so next we'll go and see how does the or operators work so what if you want to match a string that starts with a and continues with either b or c so this for this we can use the or operator for this we can use the or operator so basically the regex will be a then the brackets b then pipe c instead of using that we can also use one more technique that is a the square bracket and bc and then close the square bracket this also matches the test strings so as you can see the it matches a b and a c next is the character class using this we can start writing some nice regular expressions so uh, let's clear this out and uh, the bracket a to z matches all the characters which has small a to z alphabets and giving a star to it actually matches all the words but it only matches the small letter words and ignores the capital letters so for capital letters we can write a to z in the regex and it will start matching the capital letter words if we want to add numbers to our list for example uh, if we want to add 11 or let's assume i am writing 1 2 3 4 
so for that what we can do is we can add 0 to 9 in this current regex let me correct the z 0 to 9 and you see it matches all the words either it might be a capital it might be a small it might be a number so it matches everything well let me show you one more useful regex that is the round brackets so inside the round brackets you can type any character and it will start matching it as a group so brackets ae matches all the ae grouped together as you can see it has 10 matching results and also we can combine the quantifiers along with it for example i can give curly braces 2 comma and the curly braces close so it will match all the ae that is repeated for two or more times we can also have a upper limit to it by giving 2 comma 2 inside the curly braces so if you want to match strings in a grouped manner you can always use the square brackets and the curly brackets together so this is one more interesting feature about regex next comes the meta sequence well you would have remembered the regex that we wrote that is small a to z capital a to z and 0 to 9 that can be completely replaced by giving slash w it actually matches the entire words for you as you can see it also in the explanation it clearly shows what regex it is internally using along with 0 to 9 it also uses underscore to match a word and slash w star will exactly match the word for you so you don't have to worry about the capital letter small letter numbers or not and if i change it to capital w it starts matching the empty strings or the characters which is not a word we can also get a quick reference about the meta sequence and what all options are available to us in the right bottom side corner and uh, you can look at different options provided here like if you want to match any white space character you can use slash s so slash d will try to match the digits as you can see slash d matches all the digit characters and if we give a star it will start matching the entire word a slash d is actually equivalent to brackets of 0 to 9 these meta sequence help us to reduce the regex and make it more readable now let's look at some use cases where we can apply the regex okay so the first uh, use case is what if you want to check if a sentence is valid the sentence condition is like the and in between there can be any condition and check whether the string is valid or not so i've copy pasted the string over here and let us uh, try to find out as you can see the first is there second is there third is there four and fourth has a typo error but we still want to consider those strings it might be something wrong that has been written by the user okay so for that what i can do is i can start typing the word by the and slash w and then i can give a star like after the there can be any word and it should end with developer so these strings are valid the next scenario is where you might need to use a regex is suppose there is a ask to find out all the names of the developers using the above test string so for that we can use something called positive look ahead and you can easily search for positive look ahead in the regex section here and it gives you a syntax so let me just copy the syntax and write developer so i am telling that after the developer section get me all the names like if it matches the condition developer find out the next section so after developer get me all the words for that i am giving slash w star well the last use case is for you so this is a typescript interface write the regex which extracts only the properties from it so how to move forward from here so that you can write great regex expressions you can always go to this site and you can see in the right hand side there is a group categories you can click any one of them and start practicing this is a very nice site to get started and also become an expert in regex hopefully you learned something new today if you like this video then please hit the like button and if you're new to our channel please do subscribe thank you